What's up everybody, welcome to another Sports News for Dummies video, and in this video we will be diving into LaMelo Ball and why I believe he will be the Rookie of the Year in the NBA. LaMelo Ball is a 6'8", 185 pound point guard recently drafted third by the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo Ball first hit the scene back when he was a freshman playing at Chino Hills High School with his two brothers Lonzo Ball and LiAngelo Ball. At his time at Chino Hills, he managed to rack up a state championship with his two brothers in 2016 and also dropped a 92-point game. After his time at Chino Hills, he decided to attend Spire Academy alongside Rocket Watts and also played in the NBL in Australia, where he dropped 17 points and 7 assists per game. Now some attributes that I like about LaMelo Ball is he has a good first step, and you see a lot in this video, he hezzies into a first step and he gets past the defender and he can finish at the rim at a high rate. I believe he's one of the best finishers in this draft. Another thing to look out for when you're watching LaMelo is he's a sneaky athlete. And what I mean by this is once he gets past his defender, he often can turn that corner at a fast rate of speed and get to the bucket and slam it with one hand. And I really like this attribute about LaMelo. He is an elite passer. His 6'8 frame gives him vision over most defenders that are guarding him, and he can see almost anybody on the court. He has the best court awareness in this draft by far, and it's not even close. A knock that you could put on LaMelo is he's not an efficient shooter. He shoots about 40% from two-point range, about 20% from three-point range in the Australian League. But I think with some NBA help and practice, he can prove that shot. He has an unorthodox shot. But I think over time he can improve to be a better shooter. LaMelo's brother Lonzo is an elite defender in the NBA. And I believe LaMelo can be a defender just as good as Lonzo if he puts his mind to it. He has been lazy at times in the past. But I believe he can be an elite defender because of his long frame. Can affect other point guards passes and shots at a higher rate than other point guards. I think the best player comparison that I can give to LaMelo at this time is a Penny Hardaway comparison. And the reason I say this is Penny Hardaway had a knack for getting to the middle of the lane, finding his teammates at a brilliant rate. And I just feel like LaMelo has that knack to him. He can just find teammates and he knows where everyone is on the floor and can also score at the same time. I believe LaMelo will be a pass first point guard that can get buckets on the side. And I believe he'll average around 16 points, seven assists, and five rebounds. His rookie year. I feel like the Charlotte Hornets could be a 35 plus win team this year and maybe crack a playoff spot with talent like Devontae Graham, Terry Rozier, Malik Monk, Nicholas Batum, Miles Bridges, Bismack Biombo, and newly added Gordon Hayward. With LaMelo, I feel like they have a chance to make some noise in the East this year. With LaMelo's goofy attitude and confident mindset with his skills on the floor, I believe one day he will be an all-star in this league and next year he will be the rookie of the year. I just think it's funny how Michael Jordan, the owner of the Charlotte Hornets, drafted LaMelo Ball and we all know how LeVar Ball has always said he could beat Michael Jordan one-on-one -on -one. and LaMelo Ball was recently asked about his dad saying this and he was like, I think we all know what that outcome would be. LaMelo's a funny guy, LeVar was a funny guy, this is going to be a fun time to be a Charlotte Hornets fan. With that, we've come to the end of the video. Comment down below your thoughts on LaMelo and who you think the Rookie of the Year will be. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace!